Hello gamers, this is Ichiban One here. Some gamers and some people in the gaming industry believe that Game of the Year is going to be a toss-up between Bioshock Infinite and The Last of Us. Well, it's like trying to compare apples with oranges. They both taste good and they're both good for you, but they both have two distinctive tastes. Bioshock Infinite is a fantasy action-adventure game and the Last of Us is a post-apocalyptic survival horror game. And what I mean by horror is that the violence in this game, well, it's horrible. In The Last of Us, I was actually in the game, in this post-apocalyptic world of gloom and doom, right there with Joel and Ellie. Some people said the story was predictable, and it was, but it wasn't about the story here. It was about two characters, Joel and Ellie, on this epic journey who learned to trust, respect, and genuinely grow fond of each other. The voice acting was great. Even the character actors were great. Look, there was badass Tess who sacrificed herself so that Joel and Ellie could get away, even though she was infected. She probably would have told Joel and Ellie and shit that she was going in the bushes to leave a shit, put a bullet in her head after she left the shit, because as everyone knows, you don't take a shit, you leave a shit. And then there's Bill, who lost his partner Frank. I could truly identify that as a vet of two tours Plus, in Vietnam, I lost a partner, a couple. Marjorie, who had the burden of raising her dead best friend's child as an infant, and then willing to sacrifice it for the greater good, was one person said, the need of the many outweighs the need of the few or the one. And in this case, that's a little girl named Elliot. Even the soldier that Joel and Ellie tag teamed his ass, even he was great when he said, You killed my friends, and now I'm going to kill your monkey ass. Now, I've read some comments that some gamers said that The Last of Us was just another zombie game. I don't know what they were playing, but it definitely wasn't The Last of Us. Left for Dead, no doubt. I always thought that zombies were reanimated corpses, where these were supposed to be living, breathing human beings infected by a fungal disease that attacked the brain and turned them into stark, raving, homicidal lunatics, which even made the game more compelling. I never looked at it like they were zombies or some kind of alien creatures or whatever. I looked at it like they were human beings trapped within their own bodies. It was just like what another throwaway character, Sam, said. Suppose they were still themselves inside there. Suppose they still could think and was doing these things because they had no control over their body. Wow, that's deep. Now, there's some gamers, including myself, that believe there's no such thing as a perfect game. But I must confess, The Last of Us comes about as close to a perfect game that I've seen in quite some time. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the two glitches and Ellie being invisible to all the enemies, I had the digital copy, not the disc. I might have changed my own rule. At first it was a little annoying for Ellie, Bill, Sam, and every other AI character that was with me to dart in the way 
make as much noise as possible and be virtually invisible to the enemy. But later on, it became sort of like comic relief in an intense, morbid, and sobering game of survival. Sometimes I wonder if Naughty Dog put that in there just to fuck with us. Well, I guess you already know what game I think should be game of the year. But my prediction? Bioshock Infinite. What game do you think should be game of the year? Give me back. Let me know. Well, latest gamers. Is it your buying one here? Come on.